Hey CWA family, I am a Project Some Beautifully and Wonderfully Made and today we are going to sublimate a double-sided necklace. So um, the, this is the necklace. I do have them on the website, CWA Academy 2022. Here's a up close look at it. It is double-sided and it's super easy to sublimate. Y'all know sublimation is just easy anyway. I love sublimation. <laughs> So when you take it out of the pack, the um the chain, the necklace part is is pretty thin to be honest with you. It's pretty thin. So if you want to um uh, like go on Amazon or something to purchase some more chains, um you can because I um I actually they came with this chain. So the, this is how I sell them with this chain. But for my personal orders for my retail customers, I actually switched out the chain. So for my retail customers, I switched out the chains to these chains because they're they're the rope chains. They're thicker um, versus these chains. They're thinner. Um, I, I like the rope. Me personally, I like the rope chains better. Um, but it's up to you if you want to sell it with these chains. That's fine. Like I said, um, when you order, it will come with these chains right here. If you want the rope chains, you have to go on Amazon or someplace else to order the rope chains. But it comes with these chains. All right, so let's get back to it. All right, so this is the necklace. It has the little diamond lookalike around it and it's double-sided. As you can see, you can turn it. And then each one comes with these little discs. So when I make my, Im when I um, size my images, I size my, size my images to one inch image to one inch images. <laughs> so these are my images. I chose my mom and my kids. Um, if you watch the pop soccer video, then you see, you have seen the picture of my kids. Um, but for um, the necklace, it's, um, the size should be one inch, one inch. And like I've uh, said before, um, I do my design in Canva. And I know you probably like, it's just a picture, but with Canva, Canva has frames. So if you have a picture, you can do a um, circle frame and just drag and drop the picture inside of the frame and it'll position it for you. And you can reposition if you don't like the way it positions it for you. Um, and then I um, download it and um, print from Silhouette. I like Silhouette because you can resize in Silhouette and you don't have a problem um, resizing. Anything other than resizing a silhouette, I can't tell you anything about it because I don't know nothing about silhouette except for how to print. So I print all my images for sublimation with silhouette. All right, so these are the discs. So let's get started. All right, so I have the heat press set to 400 degrees, 60 seconds. As I've stated before, I just use regular parchment paper from my local um, Dollar General store. You can use what you want. Um, Amazon has butcher paper. I used to use the butcher paper, but I just use the parchment paper because it's cheaper and it's more convenient. I don't have to wait for it. Um, so I just you just put a piece down. You don't have to be pretty when you put it down. The disc, each disc, you're gonna uh, has a silver side and a white side. You wanna um, you're gonna put your image on the white side, but before you put it on the white side, you wanna make it has a clear film just like with the pop sockets. So you wanna make sure you peel the clear film off. It can be a little tough to peel off sometimes. All right, so you peel the clear film off and you're gonna do it for both of them. So we got a clear film peeled off. All right, and then these are my images. I'm gonna cut around them just a little bit so um, I can be able to position it better. And like I said, you can get um, these necklaces from off my website. And my website is CWA Academy 2022 dot com and i will be adding some digital designs i have a few up there i'll be adding more so if you have anything specific like a theme then let me know 
and I can make a design. I like to try to make my own designs and have them for you all. And if you're on my email list um, once a month, you'll receive four designs from me. All right, so I have cut it close to my um, image. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your, um, what am I, what is this called? You're gonna get your substrate and then you're gonna get your image and you're gonna position it how you want. I like to turn my like this so that way I can see it. So I, I turn it where I can see the silver part, but when you lay it down, you wanna lay it with the, picture, with the paper up. So just lay it, make sure it's in position tight and you're going to do the same for both. Position it how I want. And then you're going to lay it flat. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. My babies have just woke up from their nap. Hey, girls. Come from under the heat first. I'm going to hit your head. All right. And then you're going to get your heat tape. All right. Hold on. You're going to get your heat tape, and then you're going to heat tape it. Come from under here, baby. I don't want you to hit your head up, burn yourself. You're sweating already. You just got in here. Come here. Oh. All right, let's see how we do this with one hand. Oh. I'm still here, you all. I got my baby in my arms, so I'm trying to do it with one hand. One hand. All right, so then we're going to put our heat tape down. And we're gonna tape it down. All right, so now that we have it taped down, we're then gonna get another piece of butcher paper, parchment paper, whatever you use, lay it flat on top, and then we're gonna heat press for 400 degrees, 60 seconds. You actually can sublimate it for 380 right, degrees so for now, 45 uh, seconds. And to be honest with you, I put it on 400 degrees, 60 seconds, but for some reason my heat press, the temperature goes down. Um, so really, you really could sublimate it on 385 degrees for 60 seconds, because that's mainly what mine was uh, on the whole time. It was just sublimating. All right, so I'm putting on my heat gloves because it is hot. Very hot at that. So that's our first image. That's the one of my children. And then this is the one of my mom. All right, so I kind of while I deleted the video when my baby was crying. But the only thing you're doing is you're just pulling off the backing the on, the, um, on the necklace and it's sticky. So if you just put the picture on there and press down firmly and boom, your image is there. That's it. And that's how the second picture looks. And you just flip it. And that's how it looks on this necklace. Now I'm going to show you how it looks on the necklace with um, the thicker rope. Alright. So this is the thicker rope. I'm just switching the chains out so you can see how it looks. This is how it looks with the thicker rope. Which me personally, I like I said before, I like it with the thicker rope. So, all right. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please please subscribe to see more videos for sublimation and Cricut. Um, and if you would like some necklace sublimation blanks, head over to CWA Academy 2022 to get your necklace sublimation blanks. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. And as always, thank you for crafting with April. Have an awesome, blessed day.